Hey, what's up, guys? So, I don't know how many of you noticed in my latest video, but I have changed my modifications a bit, and I thought it was time to make a little video about my septum piercing. Because I obviously haven't made enough videos about that. My ears are 28 millimeters now. They were 26 before. So two millimeters bigger. Woo -woo. And uh, I got the bigger plugs and just put them in. And that's kind of how it works when you have fully healed ears. <laughs> also, my septum piercing is still 3.2 millimeters and 12 millimeters in diameter right now. And this, as you can see, is a smooth ring without any balls in it. I've gotten some questions about it, because uh, apparently you guys have questions about it, so I thought I'd answer them. Mm. And well, as you guys know, these are the most common uh, rings, the horseshoe and the closed thing. A lot of people are like, yeah, well you have to go to a piercer to get these like uh, removed or changed or whatever, because you can't open them, like, oh, 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 oh my god, you can't open them. Bitch, please. These, obviously, you just screw off the ball and put it in and screw on the ball again. But the magic trick is this tool. And it's like a pair of scissors, except when you push in, the nose goes out. <laughs> so if I push in, boom, it opens up. So I can use my grabbing muscles <laughs> um, to open up the ring. These are really a bitch to get in. I mean, I've got it a lot better. Before, like a long time ago, it used to take me like half an hour to get this in, but now what I do is I put it in and I take a pair of tweezers and then I take some eyelash glue on the tweezers and grab the ball because the ball has these two indents in it. It has to go exactly on the ring when you open it up and like when you open up your hand is like shaking and you have to like measure and then you have to let go exactly at the right moment. So that's a bitch if the ball that you have grabbed with tweezers keeps moving around. So grab it with a little bit of eyelash glue because that's you can just wash away. You just grab the ball so it kind of holds still and then it's much easier to kind of like measure it in and place it. So that's the trick I've used for these ones. As for this smooth ring, um, a lot of people are like, how do you get it in there? I don't know if you can tell, but somewhere along there is an opening. Let's see. There it is. I don't know if you can see that. Um, last time I opened it was in a store. The store where I got this actually, and they were all out. So when I had to change it in the beginning of the summer, I went to open it in the store with their tools because I couldn't bring them home with me. Um, and I, the this part was exactly on the edge of the part that comes out. So when I open it, it shot halfway across the store and I couldn't find it again. So that's why I haven't been wearing mine. Um, so I hopefully it doesn't shoot out again this time. Um, so this is much easier to get in than the ball because here, let's see if I can show you. Can I hold it with this? Yeah. So it's one of like a small curve. That's just the part of the ring. And you place it in there, and since this is so much bigger than this tiny ball and it's not round, so it's much easier to kind of grab and stuff, um, you can kind of like open it up and then place one side and then put the other side in. So that's really easy. That's how I do it. And the reason I like this more than the other ones is that this can never be crooked. It's just round, so no matter how it slides, it's never crooked, which is awesome when you film videos. Because when I film a video and I realize when I'm editing that it's been crooked the whole time, I want to kill myself, so this saves me a lot of panic attacks. All the other information about my septum piercing are in the other Q&A videos that I've made along the years. And if you have any further questions, comment down below and I'll see if I can answer them. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my links below to keep up to date on everything that I do. Until next time, have a super duper duper good one.